What's up guys? Michael just pulled up in a Matco truck, so let's go take a look and see what he's got. Uh-oh, got another big old empty hole. Yeah, I saw the toolbox. Got another one picking up today. Wow. Toolbox business is good. Yes, sir. That's always I'll a take good it. thing. I'll take it every time we sell one. We'll take it. Play fine with you for sell one every day, will you? That's right. Sell two a day, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> um, got into making the, have an extra one at the house to start filling in, so. Yeah. We gonna well, there's a bunch of people want to know the part number of that little dude after we showed it, showed it last week. Let's see. Yeah, it's the MT2765G. MT2765G. Yeah, that one's old. Still got the boots on, I see. Well, there you go, guys. That's your half inch. Stubby. No break. I think that varies person to person. I had a little bit of a break in. I had any problems out of it. It varied first when I, like the first week. The only problems I had was they were real tight getting them on. But yeah, that breaks in quick. Are they still it. worth it, Bill? They're very much worth it. Very much worth it. You go. You leave the Walmart boots at Walmart. <laughs> I like the fact that like today my feet don't get wet. All this rain and stuff, exactly. my feet don't get wet. Well, that first day I bought them, the, the very next day we were working on rebuilding some fifth wheels and walking around in the grass. And I mean the ground was soggy wet. My yeah. feet never got wet. That's Where, did you get any of the socks in? I haven't yet. Well, shoot. Well, I'm going to fix you up with boots and socks at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> So these weren't here last week. I told you about them. Same style as our wrenches that will get 90% rounded, which I think somebody on your channel had posted a video that somebody had tested them out and they really worked. But these are the sockets that do the same thing, which they are impact, so that makes it even better. Same design, just in the socket form, so. Bill's ears perk up when you said impact. That's right. Let me get the part number because somebody's going to ask. HG 11M. So this set here, same style as wrenches, but it allows you to either use another socket on it to get it out or a socket. So if you got like a torque converter bolt or something like that, mm -hmm. especially on like the Nissans and stuff, this just hammers on there and you take it right out. Up to 90% rounded. So. I think also these would do great on like the uh, alternator bolts that everybody seems to strip for some reason before somebody actually lets you work on it. Of course, we got a driver here that would drive the old one out. So, good sturdy design. Good design, is, and it's really going to grip when it starts to bite. So, and we got drivers here that would uh, make you have to use a set like that. That's right. <laughs> you got drivers here, it makes you want to use one of them big old green hammers and <laughs> yeah. whack them on the toe when they come in. That's right. I had a uh, driver for another company stop me the other day and wanted to buy a tool set. So he said he'd, he'd start working on his own instead of taking it in every time. Which I sold it to him because I'm in the business to sell tools, but I have a feeling what it, that the company mechanics are really going to love him. They're going to be happy with him, ain't they? That's right. So that is yeah. right. Are you going to be happy with him? You ever use one of those jump starts like that? I've got one of the NOCO brands, the bigger ones, and then I've got a little one like this that i got at Napa. Yeah, we have a, we have one that steps up and does up to like a 7.3 diesel. Mm -hmm. And it's the one that seems to sell constantly. Um, even if they don't own a diesel, they like the bigger one. Yeah. Uh, so... I had two on the truck to begin the week with, and both of them sold, so I'm up for that. Selling them tools, that's what that's what it's all about. That's right the there. name of the game. Sell, sell, sell. So. That's it. 
We went through the Christmas balls too. I'm constantly money. having to restock that. So, uh, right after I left last week, had the person win. Uh, well, you see, the two helicopters are gone. The drone's gone. Got two more helicopters in. One of them's already gone. So, wow. Uh, that's that's awesome. That's what we like to hear. Awesome, awesome. Like to see here. Hey, this one says it's unbreakable. Me and Clay can definitely put it to the test. It says it's got uh, up to 200 foot pounds that it can take before the plastic will crack. Wow, that's cool. So we like we like put stuff to the test around here. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever get any of them socket trays in for that? Uh, you talking about the no. the twist the stop trays? I got that one right there. Just like that one I've got. Yeah, that's the style that you put the socket on and twist it yep. to lock it. I've got one identical to it, except mine's dirty. Hey. Yeah, I like that one when I was a technician because I could actually take it out of my box mm -hmm. and just tote it to the. Tote it all the way over there. I worked at a place in that crew, and uh, we worked seven, seven nights, and we're off for seven. And that's what I'd do on my last day. I'd take that whole tray with me and put ratchets and stuff on it and just pick up the whole tray and throw it in the truck. Nobody's using my stuff, right? Not always. Me and Bill's got a problem. We got too much junk that we always have to work on outside of here, too. <laughs> yep. uh, well, like I said, once a technician, always a technician. So we've all had that problem. At like some if that damn point. thing cranks on its own without any help, we, ain't gonna, we don't need that. Right? That's, mm -mm. That's too high class for us. If you ain't got to jump it all, fix a flat, or do some kind of work on it before you get in and go somewhere. Mm -mm. Well, I ain't happening. You got anything else new today? No, I had a I had a couple different things, but y'all are on Friday, so they sold through. Um, y'all have a break next week because I'm actually going to be gone Monday and Tuesday, so that's two days that I can't sell my new stuff. Got five boxes coming in today to load the truck back up with. Yeah, that's some new stuff. We like that new stuff. Everybody does. So mm -hmm. I need stuff. to send you more new stuff, fans. What that's, they need to do. That's right. Get more and more new stuff in. I'm saying, don't send me the old stuff. Send me the new stuff. Which you know, just showing people the difference between new stuff and old stuff sometimes sells it both. Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest thing that we've had this week. That we've sold a lot of is they put these pliers on the, in the flyer. It's the pump style. So a lot of people think that these are uh, just normal old, like Nipix. What I like about them, they just like the quick adjust. They don't have the teeth back there. Mm -hmm. They're quick with that style. But Bill, put this style in your hand and then put this style. So they look similar. But I want you to feel the grip on that, feel how it feels in your hand, how feel that one in the same hand. It just, that style there just feels better to me. It has a better, and I, that one has a hump in it, but I don't think that's it. These are a little bit longer, and it just gives that grip just a little bit more. It's, that one don't lock, you just move it. That's the only thing I found aggravating about these is you got to, Push the button. See, push I like, the button. I like the button. See, I mean, I, I like him. I don't like. I mean, I like the button was cool, and I like it in some instances. But I like the fact that this one locks the same way. But I ain't gotta push the button. Sometimes, I mean, I like it, but sometimes it's inconvenient because if you got a hand that's not freed up, right, you just about have to have two hands. Or... Yep. So I, we've been selling the fire out of these this week just because we we opened the box up and was able to show some visible differences. It just feels like this one fits in your hand a little bit more. I like the button. That way if you let go of the handle, it's still in the same spot. You know? Yeah, that makes a big difference too. I can see where both of the designs would really work. Mm -hmm. But you know, Nibix has got the the quick style with the button yeah. to suit you, but then we've got those. Yeah, those are the ones that got the little red ring or whatever. Right, the right, button. yeah. I got one of those up there. Yeah, those are nice. It's amazing. Right there's still probably the best invention ever. Almost. Like 
that's uh, that's the bomb right there. Yeah, anytime I see somebody using a pipe wrench, I just quietly walk away and go get these and, mm -hmm. and let them use them. So, you know, it's silent sellers like that that, that really make the difference. What you got there, buddy? You got a tester for your light cord going into your trailer. Mm -hmm. Got a female in where you can plug it into the truck or trailer. And then a light cord to plug up on this end. <coughs> You got dummy lights here that show you that you do have power coming through it. And I believe it's got a problem, the red light will come on. I had to read up on it. Cool right there. Why you gotta call it dummy light, not a smart light? Yeah, why's it gotta be dumb? It's pretty smart to tell you something wrong with it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta, may have a dummy operating it though. Hey, you put me on right. the end of it. You saying that's my job to run that, that <laughs> test? No, 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 no. Still having good luck out of your airline pliers? We ain't even had to use them. Knock on wood, right, Bill? I did the other day. Well, Bill used them the other day. But I think it's the first time we've used them since we bought them, so we've actually got lucky. Maybe that's kind of like one of them things where if you're buying and you're prepared for it, you won't need it. Hey, if it works, make it work, right? If it keep us from messing with airlines for a year for $175, I'll give them back to you a year and we'll just buy another set. <laughs> that might be good luck right there. There you go. As long as, long as it works. Well, We've had a lot of people talking about the universal clamp pliers, too. I've never really used them. I always use the plastic style. But I've seen a lot of people really like those, too. Yeah. So... It's the little things, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever makes the job get done quicker. Those are pretty neat. I ain't gonna like that. Yeah, we've got a three pack of them that sells real good. Sold out of them. Those got like teeth in them or something, don't they? Like grippers or something on them. So if it gets on your nerves, just cut it out of the way, right? If you can't use a nut driver on a clamp, it's it might as well just throw it in the garbage. Yep. I don't like it in school. They just leak weight in the hat, mate. they? Well, the driver ain't gonna say nothing about a water leak, but he'll sure tell you that his air conditioner ain't working. And then, a radio. Yeah. AM FM radio. AM FM radio. And then. Baron, Hacker. That's what you need. Mm -mm. Yeah, you need to start working on those cars again, right? No, sir. Start using that. The glow, the glow plug starter. Mm -hmm. Throw away that old rubber hose. I don't work on cars, man. Don't do it. <laughs> when are you gonna get the scanner in so we can? Man, I've been, I've been letting people use it, trying to. Uh, I've got three or four people interested in it, so I've been letting them use it and play with it and demo it. When they come out with that HD box, we need to carry it in there and plug that thing up. Yeah, the HD box off. is actually off now. It's actually out now. Uh, so it's fully capable of doing everything in one. Mm, that's going to be nice. All right, guys. Well, we're going to turn this thing off like always. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate Michael showing up and having some cool new stuff today. Um... Like always, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It don't cost you a dime. That way you get to have a visit on the Matco Truck Weekly. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you next time.